everyone and welcome to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a Team Fortress 2 server. Now this server will be hosted on your own computer which means you can get DDoS from it, all of that stuff as well as it's going to be using your own computer's resources. So if you don't have a good enough computer to run a server as well as play Team Fortress 2 then this probably isn't the option for you. What probably is is a remotely hosted server. It's not going to use your own IP address, it's going to have DDoS protection and it's going to be able to be ran if your computer isn't good enough to run a Team Fortress 2 server and it's to play it. If you can just play it, this server is going to be perfect for you. You can get that server down below, first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash game servers. Awesome, awesome servers there. Team Fortress 2 Arc, tons of different ones, but for Team Fortress 2 specifically, they put a lot of work into making the server experience as good as they can and uh, I was actually just playing on a TF2 server over there. Freaking awesome, no latency, just really really good server I loved it didn't see any problems with it so go check it out if uh, if you want a 24-hour server the breakdown .xyz slash game service first link down below anyway let's go ahead and start one on our own computer if you want to do that so to do that we need to go to the second link down below which will take us here which is the steam CMD and then we'll just scroll down until we see download steam CMD for Windows click that and it will download it in a zip file once we've got it, we just need to open up that zip file and then create a new folder on our desktop. In this folder, we can title it whatever we want, like Steam, CMD, for example, whatever we want. Click enter on that, save the file, and then drag CMD into it. Open up your newly created folder and just double click on Steam CMD. Easy as that. It'll then download some stuff and do some things. And then eventually, when it's done, it will look like this and it will let you type. What you want to type is uh, stuff that's mentioned in the description below, but we're going to type it live here on screen as well. First thing you want to type is login anonymous, right? Anonymous, hit enter. It'll then connect to Steam anonymously. It'll go through, check some licenses and whatnot, and then you want to type force underscore install underscore dir space C because you want to put it on your C drive. That's the one your computer's basically ran on. Colon backslash. It's going to be right under your delete key this is also down below by the way you can copy and paste it and then you can put whatever you want after the slash I'm just going to put TF2 server right like that then you can hit enter it'll set that force install directory and next you need to type app underscore update space two three two two five zero space validate then hit enter and this is when it will start downloading the TF2 server. This is going to take a while. It is a massive download. So I will meet you guys when it's finally done downloading all this stuff for a Team Fortress 2 server. Right click on Command Prompt and run that as an administrator. Then in Command Prompt you want to type IP config, IP, C-O-N-F-I-G, hit enter and then you'll be given some information. Right now we're interested in your default gateway to keep this up. So take your default gateway here. Mine is 192.168.0.1 and type that in to your browser. Once you hit enter, it'll open up a login box like this. Enter your username and password, and if you don't know that, go to the third link down below. It'll help you find your username and password. Just go to the top router you have, find the exact router, and then get your username and password there. I'm gonna go ahead and enter mine and log into my router. Once you're into your router, your router will most likely look like something completely different from this. What you're gonna be looking for here is port forwarding or virtual servers could also be apps and gaming right apps and gaming port forwarding virtual servers for me it's under the forwarding tab and then it's under virtual servers right once you're there you need to add a new port forward add new whatever it says for your internal and external port you want it to be 27015 for your internal port you want it to be 27015 so both ports are going to be the exact same for your IP address it's going to be your IPv4 address over here Right, for me, that's 192.168.0.124. For you, it'll probably be something completely different, and that's okay. For protocol, you want to do all, or both, or TCP slash UDP. You basically want to include both of those. For me, that's going to be with all. And then if you have a status, you can leave that enabled. And there you go. You've now port forwarded. Running your server is really simple from this point. Just minimize the browser, come back over here into the TF2 server where you have this shortcut you created, and then double click on the shortcut. It'll now run your server, 
and be good to go. The first time you run your server, you might see a bunch of errors. You might have to do this, allow access with firewalls, do all of that stuff. But after some time, it will launch into the server and you'll be good to go. Now, you can go connect to your server, either using the direct public IP address that you have. You can get that by just going to Google and typing in IP, and it'll say your public IP address is. Or you can find it in your server right over here, your public or public IP is, and then it'll tell you there. You can join using that. Or, you can find it in Team Fortress 2. Technically, the server is active. Players can join it, can find it via that way all of that stuff but your server is now set up congratulations and i do want to remind you that if this process is for whatever reason too strenuous for you you can't figure it out you've tried and you've tried and it's just not working then you can go get yourself a server at thebreakdown.xyz slash game servers guaranteed to work hosted off your computer off your internet like i said all someone needs to do is just join your server and they can ddos you they don't even have to join it they just need to see it publicly boom they can ddos your server and uh that's just kind of sad you don't want that happening so anyway go get a server there if you don't want that to happen and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we make awesome videos every single day of the week this has been the breakdown and i'm out guys peace Oh,